everybody. I'm sorry to interrupt, Evan, but we've got an important thing to get to. Wanda Sykes is here, Kristen from Laguna Beach, and Dr. Franklin Rule. Doctor, first of all, that was fantastic. Well, thank, thank you, you for much. singing for us. Uh -huh. um, what sort of a doctor, what kind of a doctor PhD are you? PhD in nuclear physics. I lecture and write on the scientific evidence for parapsychology, ufology, and cryptozoology. Crypto, what is cryptozoology? It's a study of unusual creatures such as Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, etc. Is that right? Yes. Really? And is that that's a real science? Well, there are some who devote their lives to the subject because there's a lot of evidence for many of these creatures. Yeah, but there are people who devote their lives to making a giant ball of rubber bands, too. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but there's a lot of serious evidence, for example, for the Chinese Loch Ness Monster. We've just found a fossil off the coast of China that actually congrues with many reports of such a creature. This fossil had a long neck and appeared to be what we call a sea serpent. So possibly in the past these entities existed right. and found some ecological myths, so they're still surviving today. Right. And do you, have you ever seen a UFO? Uh, once I did recently near an airport. It was diamond shaped with four lights. The guy beside me did not see it. Probably no one believes that I did, but it was apparently, in my opinion, an extraterrestrial vehicle. But you just said you were right near an airport. Yes, so I, that's why I'm, I'm a bit suspicious myself. You, you are, okay. It did not look like any conventional aircraft. Okay, it didn't look like any... No, diamond-shaped UFO, which uh, this type has been reported elsewhere in, in the UFO Chronicles. I see. And uh, the UFO Chronicles are what? Well, various publications devoted to the serious study of the subject. I got... Are you a married man? No, I'm not a married man. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, actually, I'm sort of a nerd, and the girls shy away no. from a guy who's interested in, in uh, UFOs, uh, ETs, and ghosts. Oh, is that right? Yes. Yeah. But I'm still looking. You're still looking? Yes. Do you live with your mother? Yes, I do. That seems to be a common theme amongst our future talent showcases. <laughs> and has your mother ever seen a UFO? Uh, no, but she once saw a ghost, actually. Oh, really? Uh, she, and this is serious. She was scared of out of her life because it apparently was an apparition of her father, who was back in Pittsburgh, but instead of being his normal height, he was dressed in a cowboy outfit the size of a midget. The next morning, she received a telegram that he had died. Wow. I'm sure that he at least materialized. That is one of the most ridiculous stories I've ever heard. Well, well thank you, Dr. Rule. You're a great talent, a great singer, and we appreciate having you on Future Talent Showcase. Isn't he terrific? Everybody, we're right back here from Kevin Cronin of our NGO Speed Wagon. May the power of the cosmos stay with you. Yes. Now, until next time, again, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes.